right guys llama back with another video and as you can see we are once again in the creative world actually so i did some designing on stream i needed to get some work done and we finally are getting into an iron farm so as you can see right here this little guy has been going off for just just a little bit i'm gonna go over kind of what this is and we're gonna try building it somewhat in the other server but I actually don't think I have the materials for it. So I wanted to just show y'all what we had and go into some of the other things that we had done in the survival world on the server. But this is the entire farm. So what we have right here is we have millstones, some brass funnels, some arms, some depots. You can make this thing smaller. I just wanted this for looks. So we have drills up here with a stone farm going off, going into funnels, dropping into these millstones. So millstones, whenever you run them, you can turn them into gravel. Whenever you wash gravel you have a chance of either getting flint or iron nuggets so we want iron nuggets we want a lot of them and i mean a lot of them because we want to make iron blocks eventually so like this right here this isn't even one block yet so it ain't going fast enough but you know over time it'll build up and that's really what it's whatever this makes flint uh flint we're eventually just gonna dump that into lava probably i i hate doing it and i'm not gonna i'm gonna do it as little as i can this is one of the instances that it just has to happen, as you can see. Because it's just going to keep making flint, and if I try to cut the machine off when the flint fills up, you have such a higher chance of getting flint, you don't want to turn off the machine because of it. So this is the outside of the, the building. It's kind of nice looking. i still got some more work to do on it, but it is what it is. So I caught it on fire already. Let me just tell you right now. I don't remember if we have fire take on or off, but I'm very much going to fix that later. So... What we have is we have a singular motor powering this whole thing. I love making my contraptions where I just need a singular power source that's just strong enough. So we have this little guy. If I get some goggles, we're just going to get we're, we're gonna get a nice fancy netherite. So as you can see, right now <laughs> it's generating that. Uh, I thought that I could kind of get a glimpse at how much this is taking. This is max speed, and I don't have to have it max speed. Uh, we have fans that are under here. This is actually coming from uh, Dad's Guide. Uh, this is where I got the inspiration to do the fan setup because he did it with his he, he did it with his little all-purpose setup. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So definitely go check that out. It's a really good video, and I need to I need to set up some more stuff like that. I didn't realize how much of this just goes right through blocks. It's very handy, but the water just goes up and it washes everything. And each of these take 512. So let, let's do a little bit of calculating. My cat keeps trying to steal everything. Okay, so I got the calculation done. 13,312 stress. No, I didn't do the drills. <gasps> I forgot. All right, 13,000 is not right. So each drill, let me see if I can. 1024. Woo, this is going to get big. 20,480. 20, that's how much stress units we need for this. So that's a lot. Uh, that is running absolute max, max speed. Let's see how much this guy will make. So we're going to use furnaces whenever I make my full engine. I, I prefer furnaces. It's way easier and just better. So we go with that. We get a flywheel. And then we're going to be using charcoal and logs. I, I like to make this as close as possible to the real thing. So we're going to put in our one log, our one charcoal. And this thing makes 16,384. So one flywheel is not enough for this mechanism. Uh... At max speed. That's kind of crazy. I could probably make it a little bit more efficient by using some other stuff, but I don't want to. I think this looks really cool. I could have used grind, like the grindstones and everything, but I don't know. Something about the millstones and the like stuff just falling into them. I just love the look of it. So that's about how this machine works. So if you ever want to know about these, these are the mechanical arms. So as you can see, everything stopped. So if I go ahead and do this, this is classifying these as inputs, and I set output and output. And boom. And what's really cool is that if it can't reach, it'll actually a lot of them will just put them right here. Just instead of outputting either of those, it just puts on a depot and they do it automatically. It's it's really really cool. It's a cool little mechanism. Uh, if you ever want to make this in your world, you can make it a lot cheaper by just using a andesite funnel and you know just a regular millstone and not even using the arms, just using a couple, an andesite funnel. I do it this way just because it's fancy. I want to do a bunch of fancy pants stuff, 
But that's really about all this has. There's still some prettying up I need to do before I import it into the world uh, using the schematic. But that that's about the gist of it. It's a really f nice, just little mechanism. Like, just it's just nice. It's com Okay, I say it's compact. It technically is. Uh, literally, if you take this row right here, just destroy all of this and just leave this. And that's all it really is. There's nothing much to it. A lot of it's just moving just the it's just moving these shafts around. You can get by with just this little bit right here. Not bad at all. Also, I use chain drives. Chain drives, oh, freaking amazing. Love me some chain drives. That's also what's up under here. Uh if you ever feel like you don't have enough chain drives, make more chain drives. You are never gonna run out of chain drives. That's really about all that there is to this. So another thing that we're going to be building soon is the engine. I'm still going to be once again using this engine design right here. I've been waiting to get some more brass and such up because I, I don't have enough brass to make the system just function. So it goes off of having a wood import and using logs and charcoal to burn itself and then re-energize itself. That's going to be done. Right now, though, I just... <laughs> this is a, I haven't gotten any power. So I'm going to be making the engine room soon. I'm going to use some design similar to this. I just want to give you an update on what's happening there. And there was another thing that I was going to work on. It's over here. So over here, uh, you can see <laughs> there's a bunch of like just different things that have never actually been gone through and done. Uh, this is the potato farm. This is the 5x5 five five potato farm I made a video on. Let's turn that off. I need to turn a lot of this off, actually. There's so much stuff on. No wonder my world keeps lagging. This is trial number one of a three by three. In case I, I'm going through a bunch of my builds right now because this is going to be more of a technical video. This is the first, count it, first contraption I ever made. And let me show you what this does. This, this is going down more memory lane right here. This is the first thing I ever made in Create. Let's see if it still works. This is a, an ore processing machine. That's all it is. So we put in our ore. It goes up into here. It comes out. The ore goes into these chutes, into these wheels right here, into the crushing wheels. I had a, I forgot what name it was. This is before I knew like how to really use anything on here. So it's still crushing. Ah, here we go. Some of the stuff's coming out. So as you can see, it's coming up into here. The cobblestone just gets dropped out. I didn't ever do anything. This washes it. And then it goes makes them it comes down here all the little nuggets come in here as you can see and it just starts crafting them and then it just kind of spits out iron nuggets or iron ingots i i don't know uh it's a very big catastrophe this was number two of a prototype there's a lot of prototypes this one i'm pretty proud of this is a uh just a smelter it's just a super smelter but it looks really good i like it it's uh it's gonna be built eventually all right, this is the bad boy I was looking for. So this is my elevator that does not work anymore. So I'm going to be built. Oh, it does technically work. What? How did that? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to ask. I don't care. So this is what I'm going to be building soon. Uh, it's going to be a lot more mechanically different, um, to say the least. So the idea, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a... Uh, just a little bit of a sneak peek on what it's going to do. Uh, so I'm going to have a building up top. It's going to have a room. The room's going to have a singular button. And what that button's going to do is whenever you hit it, it's going to actually take you down. But in its place is going to crank up a new room. And once you get down, it's going to be stuck there. And whenever either button gets hit, it pulls the other room back and then brings it up and gets it ready to push back into the system. It's going to be really, really neat. I'm, I'm actually really, really excited on how I'm going to do it. Uh, I haven't done any designing yet. I wanted to give you just kind of a sneak peek on some other things that are happening because I really don't have much more. I don't have the material to make this yet. I'll show you some of the things that I've done in the survival world, but really there's not much more to all of this uh, besides just a bunch of this. If you ever want to see me make something like this, I'll actually put a card up in the things. I'm, I'm going to use a card for the first time. And I actually have a video on a better version of this that's more compact than this for the most part. And a better system for early game. This is very late game because it uses a lot of brass. But let's go ahead and get over to the server. 
Come on, me world. Okay. Not my world. It's the server. I almost walked right into that. Hello, Total. That is... That does not work. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, we have a hole. Um, I, I'm sure you can already guess what the hole is for. We have a little building. Uh, I very much recorded all that and then scrapped it because I hated the video. Uh, let me know if you ever want a building video in the future because this one did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Uh, Video-wise. Anyways. So, tree farm. Eh, pretty simple. Uh, don't really have much to explain there. We go down. So, this is where the elevator is going to come to. I figured what I'd do is I'd have kind of different points that you can go to. This goes down to the zombie farm. I know it's a little wonky. I gotta fix that because apparently my big brain thought, Hey, let's not check anything before I build all my stuff. Uh, this goes into the start. I used my little minecart contraption. I actually upgraded my minecart contraption a little bit. Uh, I'll show you in a second. But we're going to start digging out the storage area, which is also going to be coming up soon. There, there's going to be a bunch of cool projects coming up soon. I'm finally getting on track with things. Hello, sir. May you take a shovel to your face. I will scoop your eyeballs out. Whatever's left. Uh, but that that's about all we've done survival-wise. I've, I've been slacking. Big slacking. There is a skeleton. Come here, Bobby. Eel. Oh, you're on fire. This zombie is on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, crap. Wait, 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 wait. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. bad. No, don't touch me. Uh, don't touch me. Okay. Woo. Okay. So that's about all I got. Uh, I've been very busy. I've gotten, I've got a new job. Uh, there, there is a new job in the works for me. So I've been really focusing on that along with school and such. So I haven't done as much as I want to along with, like I said, Minecraft streaming just isn't for me personally, but I do want to keep creating just really cool Minecraft content for you guys. So let me know down in the comments, uh, how you enjoyed this video. If you did or not, I'm going to be streaming more indie games again, because that's just what I love. I find it so cool bringing out like new games and everything, but I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe Saturday, Sunday, 5.30 CST normally. It just depends on scheduling and such now with the new job. And if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button. That means a ton to me, along with hit the sub button, because that lets you stay up to date on videos. But otherwise, I don't really have much more to go on. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!